whenever we talk about vectors, we also wind up talking a lot about scalars as well. Um, scalars and vectors are always uh, closely related to one another, um, and you usually don't talk about one without the other. And basically, a scalar is just a real number. Um, so, for example, when you're talking about a vector, uh, it's just its length would be a scalar. Maybe it's two units long or three units long or something like that. Um, a scalar does not have a direction implied to it. It's just a real number. And a lot of times, we might want to take a scalar and multiply it to a vector, and that's allowed. You might want to double a vector or triple a vector or something like that. So here's how you do what's known as scalar multiplication. If you have a vector, which we'll call it vector v, which is in component form v1 comma v2. If you wanna take a scalar multiple of v, in other words, uh, this lowercase c here is a scalar, maybe it's two or three or negative one or something like that, is very simple to multiply the scalar to a vector. Uh, what we're gonna do is we'll take c, obviously times the vector v1 comma v2, and then basically to do the multiplication, you simply distribute the scalar through all the components in the vector. So you might have angle bracket c times v1, comma c times v2 and then that'll give you a new vector so uh, here up here up here in the corner i'll do a quick example uh, let's say your vector v was the vector 2 comma negative 3. well if you took 2 times the vector v then this would be 4 comma negative 6. if you took negative 5 times v then that would be the vector uh, negative 10 because negative 5 times 2 and then positive 15 which is negative 5 times negative 3 now graphically what does this do if you multiply a vector by a scalar uh, it actually uh, makes a lot of sense what happens um, graphically for example if here's vector v if you doubled the components of v if you doubled the vector 1 2 and got the vector 2 4 it'll be in the same direction as v just twice as long so if this is v in blue then in green would be 2v uh, what would happen if you took negative v so if you had a vector like uh, 3 7 and then it suddenly becomes negative 3 negative 7 well it'll be in the same direction i'm sorry well It'll be exactly backwards from v. It'll be the same length as v, but it'll just be in reverse. So it'll be uh, this direction here. So this would be negative v right here. So you can double v or triple v or, or have a negative scalar multiple of v. And what it'll do is it'll make v shorter or longer, possibly even change direction. And in fact, that's why we use the word scalar. It scales a vector shorter or longer. One thing a, a scalar cannot do though, is a scalar cannot change the direction of V. Um, for this vector here, V, you could pick any scalar on Earth and it would never turn the vector this direction, right? It'll only make V shorter than it is or longer than it is, possibly turn around backwards, but it would still be along this particular line right here. So that's what a scalar uh, is, and this is how you do scalar multiplication.